Hey there. Well, I just got done watching episodes one through three of The Acolyte. Some of the complaints about it being woke just weren't quite adding up to me. Nobody could really name anything specific, other than they disagree with a casting director, apparently. In episode one, close to the beginning, definitely not the very beginning, that, that was a surprise, you know, the, 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 the opening scene, I'm, I'm not going to try to ruin it, um, but it was pretty harsh. <laughs> But close to the beginning, when you're first being introduced to one of these Jedi teachers, when he's trying to teach these young kids about the Force, was really cringeworthy. Especially when it was made out to be such a meaningful lesson. Oh, come on, that's, that's so meaningful? Oh, you've learned so much! No. <laughs> now, there's no way to say some of those lines without sounding really cheesy. Other than that, really, my only complaint about the first two episodes was... How the twins pretty much wear the same type of outfits, the same type of makeup, the same hair, you know, even though they've apparently been apart for so long. If there were significant personality differences, you'd see it in their appearances, especially as adults. The music is surprisingly decent. I mean, it's not John Williams, you're never going to replace John Williams, but it is still decent. The fight choreography was really good. The cinematography and fade choices are in line with other Star Wars movies. They kept to some of those traditions. Episode 3 goes back 16 years and explains what happened to the twins. You know, why they were separated, why they thought the other one was dead. There's a point earlier in the episode, during a meeting, where the twins get into one of these sorts of she's pushing me kind of childish fights, and it just... It didn't, it didn't fit. It really didn't fit. It does, I don't know why they, they shoved that in there. It, it, it really distracted the whole scene. It, it kind of messed it up. I mean, I get that they want to reassure everyone that, oh, no, these are kids. But that just really didn't work very well. That, that choice was bad. When it comes to the witch stuff, I didn't have a problem with... The, they have a ceremony. I mean, are you supposed to just not, not have any sort of ceremony and just... I don't know, the power of one, the power of two, the power of many, you know, that, that whole thing, right? Um, I didn't have a problem with that. I, just, I, th I think some people really, really freak out over that. And, oh, and because they're mentioned, a witch, oh no. Now, there was, at one point, there was a line that was said, it was, this is about power and who is allowed to use it. But it fit the scenario. It, it, it fit. It, it didn't, it, I mean, if, you, if you're going to, take things out of context and then to try to claim that it's that's some feminist messaging or something. I mean, come on. Sometimes you can talk about power without it being some Marxist whatever. It also showed that the Jedis can have massive double standards. It's okay to teach a young kid to be a Jedi, but it's unacceptable to teach a kid how to be a witch. If I'm to be totally honest, I really enjoyed this. You know, it's not the best thing I've seen, but... I'd give it a 7 out of 10. You know, it was it was decent. Um, I look forward to watching further episodes, so... Anyway, thanks for watching me.